It's the possession count is 60-40, so they've just got so much energy in defence. They work over to the right-hand side, and a great tackle that time on Walker. Gets buckled under this tackle. Yeah, he's not great. Yeah, in, Joey. Moylan's called for some help. With Dylan Walker. Knee oh, no, ankle. not a knee. He's grabbing the knee that's heavily strapped, the left yes, knee. Right. Hey. He's just jammed that on the ground as he falls to the ground. Walk in! Prosecco tackled to ground only uh, 17 metres out from the Granola oh, no. line. Oh, he doesn't like this. Taniella. Oh, no. This can't be a, a knee injury to another forward, another front rower. He could be the fourth front rower that Manly have, have got out here if, uh, if this is bad news. Cherry Evans with a kick through, off the post, oh no! He's done his shoulder. Oh. Knock on Manly, feel the play, could have an injury oh. here. Oh, how about that? Is that Davey? That's Davey, who has come oh. back from a knee reconstruction. Not the play, it'll be a scrum. No, no. And looks like he's in all sorts. Driving that kick off deep into the end goal. And Sarko says, where to next? Jolliffe was a pretty good option. Little off the slow play, the ball. Brooks on to Laurie. Laurie can't evade Murray. The concerns are Laurie has done his MCL. Ooh. That means that Oliver Gildart is now playing left centre for West Tigers. Jeez. Now that's a South Sydney player. That that's might Jacob be Host. Host. Yeah, it is Jacob Host, dead. Now they've already lost Parmesello. So they're down to 16. Big news in terms of the context of this game, Dan. So Jacob Host is out. That shoulder was dislocated. It has popped back in, but he will not take any further part in the game. Centre field with Arthur. They'll go further across to Lane. Gee, they're using the whip. And then Brown puts it down. And Newcastle come up with it. Oh, Kakai is smothered by the defence. Klein's whistle had already blown. He's done some damage to the turf, Dane Gagai. I don't know about damage to himself, but... He's not well. Sorry, Gus, he's taking the tape off his wrist now. He, the arm's just dangling. I reckon he's done. Yes, I just had a word to the Dragons bench. Unfortunately for them, Jack Bird will not be back tonight. Uh, they said that he's suffered a cork to his elbow, but they'll be sending him for x-rays tomorrow. Close to the touchline. Ball spews out the back. Picked up by Sua. Oh, he stands up Radley. Sua, 10 metres short. There's an injury here to Jared oh. Waria Hargreaves. I think Sewers. They're both in. Oh, look at it. Ah, yuck. That's yeah, just bad luck. I'm wondering uh, how, how big an impact his absence is going to have here because he's been in everything, hasn't he? Melbourne will hang on here and work it away from their own line. That was a smart play, that, that from Sean Johnson there. Just put the winger in the fullback. Look at this once again. He brings it out. Egan is there. Penne over the top. And half the shoulder there of Penne as he was going down off the initial contact. Egan hits him and he's dropping into the shoulder. Deep inside Warriors territory. It's a powerful set of six. We begin this second half of Melbourne. The kick bounces in no man's land. Munster comes up with it. Knocked on by Harry Grant. It looked like still there for King. Play on is the call. Now there's a whistle. Now Josh Curran. Probably with his lower leg last week. And the loss to the Roosters. Watch it again. Just, oh, that's where Curran is. Gets that left leg at an awkward angle. Grant gets to dummy half. Smith is there. Nothing doing on the left hand side, so he comes back to the middle of the cheese. Dumps it off for King. Now, as it is Solomona, puts up a kick. Not a bad one. Oh, Pappenhausen comes down with it. They didn't stretch it here because the tennis of Lesnia still down here, colliding. With Bailey Sirinan, who he took down very awkwardly also. So Lesniak arrived just too late, and then as he swung around, as he collided there with... Yeah, just collects the knee of Asifa Solomona, who was chasing his own kick. 
So it must have been someone known coming forward there, trying to jump and flush in the head as a result.